Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Jackie. I am a hairstylist slash salon owner and doing YouTube on the side. Um, today we're gonna be doing a little K-tip install of Bellamy extensions. I'm super excited and I just wanna bring you guys along for the experience and show you guys how I install some K-tips and how I prep them because I have to prep them too before installing. But yeah, and we're also gonna do some color on my client today. So I'm just gonna bring you guys along and I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, so today we're gonna be installing some pure platinum K-tips that are 16 inches. We're just doing one pack. So I'm going to start by washing them and then we will install them. Alright, and then to wash the hair extensions, I like to use the Olaplex number 4 and number 5. Um, I use just a little bit of the number 5, but it's really good to wash the extensions before you use them because they do come from the factory and they're a little dirty. So yeah, you should definitely wash your extensions before and it'll rough them up a little bit so it'll give them their natural texture that they're going to be after you wash them. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys... Um, I'm going to close the water just so we can fill it up and that way you guys can see how dirty the um, extensions come. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water. And then I'm going to soak them. Add the number four. So now you can see that the water is a little bit dirty um, from the extensions. Now we're going to open that up. <laughs> There's so much soap. This usually, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Usually there's not that much soap. I'm styling. <laughs> I'm getting ready to blow dry the extensions and I have somebody walk in and they're like, do you guys do hair? Like, you look like a school. And I'm like, oh, okay. I guess that's a compliment. So we look like a school because it's very clean. So, okay. <laughs> Anyways, back to the hair extensions. So now I'm going to blow dry them. I put them in here just because I don't have an extension holder, but it does a pretty good job. So now I just put them in there, I comb them out a little bit, and we will blow dry them.
Right now her extensions are ready. Oh, it's upside down. Her extensions are ready, so now we just have to wait for her to come in and install. <laughs> and also, I do this before they come in. I try to. Um, sometimes I don't get the time to. But if I have time, I'll do and wash them and blow dry them before. That way we don't have to worry about it when they come in. we are starting to install so for this specific client we are actually only putting the k-tips on the sides because she's looking for more volume just on the sides because she has a good amount of volume in the back i try to start like two fingers above the ear keep away from the hairline two fingers as well for the k-tips you want to make sure you do very good partings you want to make sure it's clean your sectioning is clean that's the best way to get the most out of your application they also have for k-tips they have these little sectioning plastic things you can probably get them on amazon i order some from bellamy that's where i got my plastic things and then you just hold like a little clip at the top it helps secure it and yeah just with k-tips you want to make sure you just take your time focus and the tool that i have to heat up the k-tips is also from bellamy i really love their tools i took one of their classes and they supplied me with all the tools that i have so that helps a lot and that's how i learned how to do k-tips but yeah just with k-tips you just want to make sure you have time you don't want to rush and just make sure you section and keep everything really clean Another pro tip is just to make sure the heating tool you want to hold down for about 10 seconds. You'll see um, the keratin part, like, um, f oh, what's the word? Like, um, it'll f kind of feather out like a wing <laughs> and that's when you know it's good enough. And then you just tap it two, three times and then you roll. And then I finish applying the K-tips. Uh, we focus more on just applying the K-tips on the sides because like I said before, she didn't really need them in the back. And then I um, followed up with the haircut. Uh, we we're just doing it for volume. So I just cut it all to the same length. And I think we went like a little bit shorter just because she really wanted that blunt look just to have as much volume as on the ends as possible. And that's it. That's the finished look um it came out super beautiful i hope you guys like this tutorial on how i do k-tips if you guys have any other questions leave them on the comments below and yeah i will see you guys next time thank you bye